Last year, ARK estimated that in 2024, Tesla's share price would hit $7,000 per share, or $1,400 adjusted for its 5-for-1 stock split. Based on ARK's recent updated research, the company now estimates that Tesla could approach $3,000 in 2025. So what are the fundamentals of this estimation? How did ARK Invest arrive at such a value? Well, we're about to find out, so sit tight and stay tuned. To arrive at this forecast, ARK used a Monte Carlo model with 34 inputs, the high and low forecasts incorporating 40,000 possible simulations. The bull and bear price targets are the top and bottom quartile outcomes from the simulations that we're about to critically analyze shortly. ARK's expected value for the 2025 price target sits at $3,000. This projection is ARK's base case for Tesla's stock price in 2025 based on their Monte Carlo analysis. The bear case sits at $1,500 because ARK believes that there is a 25% probability that Tesla could be worth $1,500 per share or less in 2025. On the other hand, ARK's bull case sits at $4,000 since they believe that there's a 25% probability that Tesla could be worth $4,000 per share or more in 2025. With no single bear and bull case from their 40,000 simulations, ARK selected what they believe to be a plausible case for each one. There's been an increase in assumptions for Tesla's efficiency since ARK's 2024 analysis. Previously, ARK estimated that Tesla would spend $11,000 to $16,000 per incremental unit of capacity in 2024. In 2019, Tesla spent $1.33 billion on capital expenditures and produced 509,737 vehicles, an increase of 144,505 vehicles from the previous year, suggesting that its CapEx per incremental vehicle produced was roughly $9,200. In 2020, Tesla spent $3.16 billion on CapEx, putting capital efficiency in 2021 at $10,330, assuming a 60% increase in vehicle production. Note that this math probably overstates the capital required for an incremental vehicle because a portion of CapEx is for long-dated projects like autonomous data centers and Tesla's vertically integrated cell factory. At Battery Day, Tesla announced that its updated cell chemistry and manufacturing process would reduce investment costs by 75% over time. To give Tesla credit for what's believed to be its superior capital efficiency, ARC lowered gross capital expenditures per car in their latest model. Given these updated estimates, along with an additional year of growth added to the model, ARC's forecast for Tesla's unit sales is between 5 and 10 million vehicles in 2025. So ARC estimates that Tesla could achieve better-than-average margins on insurance thanks to the highly detailed driving data it collects from customer vehicles. Partnering with underwriters, Tesla introduced its insurance product in August 2019. Currently, it's available only in California. Tesla Insurance offers comprehensive coverage and claims management to support their customers in California, and it'll expand to additional U.S. states in the future. ARC believes that in the next few years, Tesla could roll out its insurance offering to more states, underwriting its own insurance policies. Because its vehicles have better-than-average safety profiles, Tesla should be able to use real-time data to offer insurance in its vehicles, pricing it dynamically, lowering customer acquisition costs, and increasing margins. Tesla Insurance offers a convenient monthly payment with no hidden fees or charges. Customers can cancel or change their Tesla insurance policy at any time. Relative to Progressive's 13% EBIT margin in 2019, ARC estimates that Tesla could achieve margins close to 40%. If it were to sell 40% of vehicles with its own insurance offering by 2025, Tesla's insurance revenues could approach $23 billion annually in ARC's bear case. In the bull case, ARC estimates that as robo-taxis ramp, Tesla's insurance revenues will be incorporated into a platform fee. Insurance boosts our price target by roughly $60 in 2025. ARC's bear case now includes Tesla's opportunity to launch a human-driven ride hail service. Previously, ARC detailed that a Tesla human-driven ride hail service would have a lower cost structure than that of incumbent companies laying the foundation for a fully autonomous ride hail network. In the bear case example, ride hail could add an additional $20 billion to Tesla's operating profit by 2025 
increasing the price target by about $500. In preparation for its robo-taxi service, Tesla could launch a human-driven ride-hail network first, delivering a highly profitable recurring revenue stream and limiting the downside of a failed autonomous service. A human-driven ride-hail service could boost Tesla's price target in ARC's bear case significantly. Now, pursuing a vertically integrated ride-hail service, Tesla could unlock the benefits of a robo-taxi-like financial model and at the same time lower considerably the technical risk of launching a robo-taxi network. For the first 3 million cars sold into the ride-hail channel, ARC believes that Tesla would generate net profits per mile close to that of an autonomous robo-taxi service. A vertically integrated ride-hail service priced in line with existing services like Uber and Lyft should generate $0.28 cents of profit per mile. While ARC expects the price per mile of a robo-taxi network to decline over time, without the expense of human drivers and with the increased convenience and value profile for consumers, its profitability still should be similar to that of ride-hail services. According to ARC's research, while the addressable market of a robo-taxi network is 100x larger than that of a ride-hail service, Tesla would generate recurring profitability earlier and more predictably were it to launch both services. ARC's modeling suggests that in 2025, ride-hail could increase Tesla's recurring operating earnings by over $30 billion, bolstering its valuation relative to that for its standalone EV business. If Tesla were to decide against the commercial launch of robo-taxis, then a ride-hail service alone could improve its profitability and ultimately account for roughly 30% of the company's enterprise value by ARC's estimates. The operational requirements for vertically integrated ride-hail services are similar to those for commercial robo-taxi systems. To commercialize its robo-taxi network, Tesla will have to integrate payments, develop routing and matching algorithms for riders and drivers, recruit and train vehicle owners to join the platform, concentrate fleet assets in target markets, and attract prospective riders. Each of those capabilities would be necessary to support a ride-hail service as well. So why would Tesla wait until full self-driving software to develop them? Not all the preparation for a vertically integrated ride-hail service would add value to Tesla's robo-taxi initiative. Notably, Tesla would have to develop sales and recruitment strategies for a ride-hail service on a city-by-city -city basis. Though it could attract drivers to its platform, the startup costs would probably exceed those of launching a robo-taxi service. In the last valuation model, ARC assumed that Tesla had a 30% chance of delivering fully autonomous driving in the five years ended 2024. Now, ARC estimates that the probability is 50% by 2025. Since the last forecast, neural networks have solved many complex problems previously considered unsolvable, increasing the probability that robo-taxis are viable. ARC estimates that Tesla's vehicle fleet gives it access to 30 to 40 million miles of data per day, up from 20 million per day last year. If successful, Tesla could scale its robo-taxi service rapidly, allocating the additional cash in turn to manufacturing capacity serving its autonomous network. If 60% of its vehicles equipped with autopilot were to serve as robo-taxis, Tesla could generate an additional $160 billion in EBITDA in 2025. In the bull case, ride-hail would account for the majority of Tesla's enterprise value in 2025. Note that autonomous driving pushes the distribution of the expected price targets up significantly. In many of the low-end cases, the model production constraints limit Tesla to fewer than 4 million units produced per year while technological and logistical bottlenecks prevent the launch of both human-driven and autonomous ride-hail networks. When the production is not constrained, a human-driven ride-hail network increases the expected price target range. On the other hand, the high-end price targets incorporate the assumption that Tesla launches a robo-taxi service. In ARC's Tesla price target, please note that the electric vehicle and robo-taxi business lines generate roughly 40% and 50% of Tesla's expected market cap, the average values from our Monte Carlo simulation, respectively, in 2025. Well, we can't say much about ARC's estimations, but what we do know is that Tesla has got some very serious plans for 2022. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe and see you next time.